A 22 mile bend at about 15 feet deep of water is one of the most treasured spots in Louisiana. False River was originally part of the Mississippi River. It was connected and part of the main channel. Located in Point Capi Parish, the oldest settlement on the lower Mississippi, was known to have been found by Pierre Lamont de Iberville and his Canadian explorers in the early 1700s. False River was really not a name. It was a direction. A direction that led the Canadians to creating a settlement. The powerful Mississippi River created this large body of water, but to Paula Lambert, the river city of New Road's Main, Main Street, Street director, says it's really a false Beautiful. river. It is an oxbow lake that when the Mississippi River turned, and formed its new path. The Mississippi River is always trying to find the shortest path to the Gulf of Mexico. So that's why it bends and changes. And so when it turned, it left this oxbow lake here. By natural causes, the Falls River receives its water from natural drainage bayous and canals, creating the ever growing history of Point Capi Parish. With the Mississippi River having flowed here, the land is so fertile for agriculture. And Point Capi is very rural, and we have huge agricultural economy here. This so-called false river, when really a lake, has become a major attraction over the years. I think the, the beauty of our downtown area and then the beauty of this river. There's so many different things to do. Now many of the residents use the river for all kinds of activities, including boating, fishing, jet skiing, and much more. <laughs> Famous for having their annual Independence Day boat celebrations on the 300 year old river. However, Paula explains the river is not all fun and games, but also rich in culture. We have this great French, Spanish, African influence that all comes together to create a family atmosphere. Creating a place for families to come enjoy the view and attend town events, plus dining at places like Morel's restaurant. Well, they have the best club sandwich I think I've ever had and the curly keys too. Having a top-notch restaurant above the water may be difficult to get in at times. However, one of the locals lays it all out on how to get the best seat in the house. Dinner is more slow, more spread out, but like lunch, there's definitely a big rush. While enjoying a meal or a nice glass of wine, the sunset on the water is what really makes this false river shine to the locals and visitors. They're just so impressed that we still have this slower, small town way of life that doesn't exist a lot of places. And having the small town way of life with the tranquility of the water is why the False River remains a true destination. I'm Jacqueline Kissick reporting.